staying or going, it's deadline day for the SS United States and the fate of the historic ship in South Philly is still up in the air after a last minute request. The ship was supposed to leave its dock on the Delaware River today, but it isn't going anywhere just yet. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. The SS United States still holds the record as the fastest ocean liner ever to cross the Atlantic. It set that record in 1952. In 69, the ship was retired from active service. Then it was moved to its home on the Delaware River in 1996, where it's been collecting rust ever since. Joe Holden explains what happens next at Pier 82. Good evening. If you read a federal judge's order, the SS US should be pulling away from port, but the story is far from over. I think that this was never a good enough home for such a majestic ship. Towering behind a barbed wire fence, the SS United States continues to attract a dedicated crowd, people who care about the fate of this historic ocean liner. I'm here painting the ship. Uh, the SS United States. Lewis Perlman Lafferty, a sort of traveling artist with his Mazda stuffed with paintings of the ship, is bitter at what's happening. We treat our history like it's trash, and that's what they're going to do to it. They're going to dump it in the ocean. Let's explain that. While there is a tentative plan to sink the ship as an artificial reef in the Gulf of Mexico, that plan is far from finalized. And now tensions have escalated behind the scenes within the last 24 hours. Both the peer manager and the SSUS now accusing the other of operating in bad faith. The matter has forced a hearing before a federal judge for Friday morning. The whole feud began over rent. The ship was evicted but has no place to go. The Conservancy is telling the court it needs more time. But the peer argues that's costing them business and time is up. Just look at it. You don't, you don't get that kind of design anymore, anywhere. Thursday along that fence took on a funeral-like feeling. The ship is now here on borrowed time. And for how much longer? For those who pay a visit, this piece of history is important to them. Yeah, when I came home from Japan in March, I kind of was looking for purpose in life and saw it in this ship. So both parties behind all of this will appear before a federal court judge. The hearing will be over Zoom. It is yet to be determined how quickly we may see things develop as far as the SSUS and its future. Along the river in South Philadelphia, Joe Holden, CBS News, Philadelphia. And we are going to stay on top of the fight over the future of the ship. As soon as there are any new developments, you can always find them at CBSPhiladelphia.com.